slow down in those school zones. Police are out in full force this morning, making sure drivers do follow the school speed limit. And also remember bus drivers, they're gonna be on the road too. So the question is, is there enough of them, those drivers, to get your child to school? News 8's Clea Patterson is live in our studio to tell us how some local school districts are dealing with the bus driver shortage this year. Kalia, good morning. And good morning. Both Bettendorf and Davenport Community School Districts students will get to class on time this morning if they take the bus. The districts say they have enough bus drivers to take the kids to school, but it's later in the year that Davenport is worried about. Right now, Davenport schools have filled all its driver positions for the school routes, but they have no drivers for after school activities. The Bettendorf superintendent says because they use a private bus company, fortunately, all its driver positions are filled. Other Quad City schools use dorm school services, and right now they need five more drivers in the area and 17 drivers across the state. We have we have people that are grandparents, moms, dads that are signing up to be bus drivers that would, will drive after school activities to ensure that their grandchildren can, can get to those activities. I feel confident going into this school year that we are going to be able to meet the needs of our students, but we always need additional help. If there aren't any new hires or volunteers, the Davenport superintendent says they're prepared to hire an outside bus company to ensure students can participate in after school activities. And back to you. Kalia, thank you. So if your student does not ride the school bus this year, just a reminder that students do ride free on Davenport City Bus. And also a reminder there's going to be a lot of walkers on the sidewalks today, too.